Hello and welcome to uh, another of my videos. Uh, today I wanted to do uh, the Netflix booktube tag. Been looking forward to doing this for ages. Um, I have uh, been going through um, my collection this morning, uh, picking out uh, some of the uh, some of my answers. So I have them here to show you. Uh, and uh, and yeah, I'm in my kitchen today just because it's a little bit of a different background. I know it can get kind of boring, um, you know, having the same one. And also, I don't know how obvious this is going to be. I'm hoping not that much um, because I'm going to try and get rid of it in the edit. Um, I spent like 20 minutes in the sun yesterday um, having some cocktails in the garden. And then I looked in the mirror and it turns out that my face has peeled off during the night. Um, and yeah, it got really bad sunburn and, it, and it's uh, painful to say the least. Anyway, uh, I'm hoping it's not too obvious, but if you can see um, something wrong with my face, then that might be it. Cool. So uh, unfortunately, it doesn't say, um, it doesn't credit um, the Netflix tag on this uh, site that I'm um, looking at the questions on. Um, so yeah, if you know who um, started this, please feel free to uh, let me know in the comments and I'll, um, uh, I'll add them to the, descri uh, the description and stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, it took me ages to work out what this had to do with Netflix. <laughs> Um, yeah, and that's got nothing to do with how little Netflix I watch because that is not true. Uh, yeah, question one, recently watched the last book you finished reading. Um, I finished reading This Is Going To Hurt by Adam Kay. Um, I finished it uh, like a week ago. Just phenomenal book. Uh, one of the best books that I've read um, ever, I think. It is phenomenal. Uh, it is so funny and heartbreaking. Um, I was, uh, yeah, it was just a pure delight to indulge in. Uh, I couldn't recommend this enough. Question two, top picks. A book or books uh, that have been recommended to you based on a book that you have previously read. Um, so for this one, uh, I was recommended um, Close to Home, um, written by Cara Hunter. Um, an interview with Cara Hunter um, is available um, on my channel, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Um, it was recommended to be my, my, by my sister. Um, and actually, probably got this a little bit wrong, but it was recommended to me because I didn't read that many thrillers. Uh, my sister was a huge, is still a huge thriller fan and also thriller author. Um, and she said, oh, you're not reading the right ones to get you into it. I said, recommend me one, recommend me this. And it has just been an absolute blessing to get into uh, this series, the uh, Adam Forley series. And then also to interview Cara Hunter because she's just amazing. Um, yeah, it was uh, not only one of the best um, thriller series that I've ever read, it's probably one of the best series, full stop, that I've ever read. Really, really great book. Um, if you haven't picked up, it's huge in England, one of the best sellers, um, but I don't think it's travelled that much internationally, especially in the States, I don't think, I might be wrong, um, but when I was, I was speaking about this, singing its praises um, to quite a few um, uh, Californians, and uh, they hadn't heard of it, and they were pretty plugged into the what was out there, so maybe it hasn't travelled that well, and if you haven't heard of it either, couldn't recommend it enough, it's brilliant. Question three, recently added, the last book you bought. Uh, so I can't show you actually, because uh, the last um, book that I bought was an audiobook, uh, and it is the new Star Wars uh, audiobook narrated by Mark Thompson. I don't think it's brand new. Um, I think it's been out a few months now, but I'm definitely um, enjoying it. I'm definitely jumping on that bandwagon. I love Star Wars novels. I really enjoyed the Thrawn um, series, also narrated by Mark Thompson. Um, and yeah, it's just been great. I'm only like an hour and a half in. Um, so things might change, but I'm thoroughly enjoying the experience. I always like to get the new Star Wars, um, Star Wars novels in audiobook format because it's, it's just such a production. It's such a, um, an experience, you know? Um, so yeah, uh, that was the last one I bought. I bought it two days ago. So yeah. Question four, popular on Netflix, books that everyone knows about, two you've read and two you have not read or have no interest in reading. Okay. So, um, Two books that everybody knows about that I've read. I don't think you can go wrong with Harry Potter. By the way, this is in the Slytherin colour because I did one of those online tests to see like, you know, it matches your personality with your house. Um, and I got Slytherin, so it's nice to, you know, um, find out you're a bit of a dick. But I don't mind. Uh, but yeah, one of them obviously is Harry Potter, the whole series. Um, another one, 
The Fault in Our Stars, I think everybody's read The Fault in Our Stars. I think my nan has read The Fault in Our Stars, so she's 93. Um, so not quite the demographic for the intended target audience. But nonetheless, really enjoyed it, obviously. Everybody knows about The Fault in Our Stars. Um, so to go for something that is super popular and I haven't read uh, yet is Ready Player One. I haven't seen the film, I've been holding it off because I wanted to read the book first. Just haven't gotten around to it. Um, super, obviously, um, international bestseller, huge film, possibly franchise, yeah, because the second one isn't they're coming out. So yeah, it's something that I really need to get to. Um, it is on my list and I will do. Um, and also, probably the most embarrassing one, Twilight. I've never read Twilight. I've seen the films. Um, yeah, it just, it just when it came out and the hype was at the, the biggest it was, it just, I was a little bit too young for it, I think. Um, it just wasn't something I was interested in at the time. I'll have to read it. Uh, it's, it's on my list, just a little bit way down the line. For no particular reason, it's just, I narrate a lot of um, vampire kind of fantasy stuff, um, and I'm just not really that motivated at this point in time to get through it, but I will, because obviously it's a must. It's like Harry Potter, isn't it? It's like, you have to read it. Um, yeah. Question number five, comedies, a funny book. Well, this should be on it as well. This was great. I proper laughed out loud with this, um, but I'm not going to use that because that might be a little bit cheating. So I'm going to go with David Sedaris, Let's Explore Diabetes with Owls. Um, I laughed out loud through the entirety of this. I love David Sedaris so, so much. I have his entire collection on my shelves. This was actually the first David Sedaris book I bought after learning who he was through his masterclass, believe it or not. I'd never heard of him before that, um, but I really enjoyed his masterclass. Thought the guy was just amazing. Um, and I thought, well, I've got to read something of his. And now, now um, I would say that David Sedaris is my favorite author. Um, he, If I could write like anybody, it would be him. Obviously, I'm not gonna try, because that'd just be copying. But basically, it's just, I wish I was as creative in turning real life experiences into stories as he is. Um, and it's something that I really admire about his work. So yes, this, it would be um, a comedy that I would say is probably up there. This, very close, but you can't beat Sedaris. It'd help if I could say his name right, wouldn't it? <laughs> Sedaris. It's a difficult one for a Brit to say. Um, six dramas, a character who is a drama king or queen. <laughs> there you go, a book with two drama queens. Um, I don't think I've got the question right, but there you go, yeah, good omens. Question seven, animated, a book with cartoons on the cover. There you go, so um, I actually, uh, for the sake of a video that I haven't made yet, um, got the free trial of the Marvel Unlimited um, app where you can, you know, read all the comics and stuff uh, online. And um, yeah, I started reading comics for like the first time, because the idea was I'll do a video where it was like, oh, how, um, how easy is it to complete beginners and you know what's my experience as a complete comic novice um but i've been really enjoying it i'm uh, reading the avengers one of the new series of the avengers um really enjoying it so far um but of course it has a cartoon cover i will talk more about it when i've delved uh, into it more i want to give it my full attention and stuff and i've been kind of backtracking between reading comics and then going back to like my star wars audiobook and just finishing finishing that also starting Treasure Island as well, because I've never read that before. Um, so yeah, so I'll, I'll talk more about that in another video. But yeah, so that's something animated, I guess, uh, that I'm uh, consuming at the moment. Eight, watch it again, a book or book series that you want to reread. You know what? I know I've already used this, but yeah, probably the Harry Potters. I like to sort of, it'll be my third time rereading them. I've only read the series twice, which I know is nothing compared to, you know, most people. Um, but like I said, I'd like to give it a go. I think the last time I read through the series, I listened to the audiobooks about two years ago, but I read through the series about four years ago, so it probably is about time uh, to go back through it. I like to do it in bulk though, and I'm not the, the quickest reader for pleasure because I do it so much with work, um, so I like to take my time with it and really digest the book. I'm quite a slow learner. Um, so, uh, yeah, it takes, that's quite a considerable amount of time to take out of my reading schedule. And there's so much stuff on the list at the moment. So yeah, probably the Potters. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll just have to see when that might be. 
Question nine, documentaries, a non-fiction book you'd recommend to everyone. Um, one that springs to mind, uh, obviously every book that I've um, read on this list I would recommend. Um, I would say non-fiction, what have I recently enjoyed? This is going to hurt, that is probably up there. Um, Gotta get through, through this by Louis Theroux. Um, his um, autobiography is, is fantastic. I've recently reread um, Nick Frost's autobiography. I think that's wonderful. Um, I would say the best one though is The Writer's Tales by Russell T. Davis. His book um, with, with journalist Ben Cook, I think it is. Benjamin Cook, I believe. I might have got that wrong. Um, but The Writer's Tale by Russell T. Davis is probably the best non-fiction book, especially if you want to be a writer. Um, it is uh, phenomenal. I'll do a, I'll do something on that as well, so I won't get too much into it. On this one, I'll, I'll save it for its own video. Question ten: Action and adventure, an action-packed book. Ooh, gotta go wrong. You can't go wrong. Um, I know this. It's not all action-packed, but it is pretty action-packed. Yeah, it's solid. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, it won't be. You can't really get much more action and adventure than Game of Thrones, can you? I don't know. I guess you can. Oh, that's why I'm going for it. Yeah. Everyone's welcome to their own opinion. This is the thing, like during the edit, I'll be screaming, oh, I should have chosen that book, or I should have chosen that. That's so much more adventurous than that. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Question 11, new releases, a book that just came out or will be coming out soon that you can't wait to read. Um, Matt Haig has just announced a new um, non-fiction self-help, his, you know, the third to complete the trilogy of his self-help uh, about mental health um, books. So you have um, Reasons to Stay Alive, Notes on an Earth's Planet, and then this new one, I think it's called like The Calm Book or something. Um, I, I don't really know. But I know nothing about it and I couldn't be more thrilled. It might as well be already in my basket. Um, yeah. I haven't pre-ordered it, you just reminded me. <laughs> I've reminded myself to pre-order it. But yeah, I'm super excited for that and I know nothing about it. Um, but I love Reasons to Stay Alive. I love Notes on the Nervous Planet and I love, love, love Matt Haig. So, can't go wrong. Super excited for that. And I think it comes out in June. Question 12, Max. Tag some people. Okay, so um, I'm quite new to this community um, and I, I don't know that many folks on a tagging basis as it were. I have a lot of, I watch a lot of books too, but they don't know who I am. That sounds weird. That sounds really creepy, but you get what I mean. Um, yeah, so basically uh, I'd quite like to open it up to you guys. If uh, any of you uh, have not done the Netflix tag video yet, even if you don't do regular videos and stuff, just let me know in the comments if you want to give it a go and you are more than welcome to on my behalf. Uh, and uh, it'd be really great to see what your picks would be uh, and just let me know if uh, your video is up and I'll go have a watch of it and uh, we can we can become tagging friends. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'd quite like to open the floor um, and, and, and tag you who is watching this. I hope that's not too much of a cop out. <laughs> um, anyway, that'll about do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching this video um, and for spending uh, your time uh, with me, I really appreciate it. Um, subscribe to the channel if it's something that you, um, you know, can see adding benefit to your life. Uh, no worries if not, of course. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much once again, and I'll see you in the next one.